so hi everyone now we are going to discuss conversion from decimal to hexadecimal so we'll see the code assume space cs colon code comma ds colon data so data segment code segment we assume then data segment we are going to declare only one 16 bit value decimal value so for that n1 this is the variable name then data type is data word word means 16 bit value or we can say 2 byte equal to 1 word so the value is 0032 so this is the decimal number which we have given then data been declared data ends now code segment so this 32 we are going to convert it into hexadecimal form so I will show you in calculator how it will be see here decimal value 32 if I give so hexadecimal will be 20 so I need to get 20 output answer right so whenever you are giving 32 here immediately the system will take here the value in hexadecimal form this 32 the system will take it in a hexadecimal form so I will explain you this 32 the system is taking take it as a 20 only hexadecimal equivalent of 32 only it will take so hexadecimal equivalent of 32 is 20 okay so now we will see in code segment what is the uh, program so start move ax comma data move ds comma ax so this is the so this is the initialization which is common for all the program next move ax comma n1 so n1 it is 32 that 32 is stored in ax now next line command is move bx comma ax so here i am going to perform some task on ax that's why i just move the value which is stored in ax that is 32 to bx now the 32 value this 32 value is moved to bx from ax okay now i am going to perform and operation what here we are going to do is i am going to separate these two values 3 and 2 i am going to separate okay right so in bx already 3 2 is there bx comma 0 0 0 f h which means i am going to multiply 0 0 0 f with this 3 2 actually it won't be in decimal form it will be in hexadecimal form actually 2 0 will be there in uh, bx so 2 0 I am going to multiply with triple zero f ok then what will happen all the values become 0 all the values become 0 just you imagine 0 0 2 0 is there that I am going to multiply with triple zero f then all values become 0 then that 0 will be stored in bx next line and operation ax comma double zero f zero double zero f zero this double zero f zero going to multiply this I am going to multiply with zero zero two zero so which means the value which is in the tenth position so you need ten hundred thousand like that we will tell no the value which is in the tenth position that value will be stored in ax why because the tenth position only i have f i have f here f means one 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 right so that value only i'll be getting in ax which means in ax two zero will be stored now I wanted to shift that 2 0 I wanted to make it as 0 2 
So for that purpose I have to shift the 2 0 by 4 steps left hand side uh, 4 step right hand side sorry right hand side so that's why I am using move CL comma 0 4 H then shift right hand side AX by 4 steps then 2 0 becomes 0 4 sorry 2 0 becomes 0 2 now I am going to multiply with that 0 2 I am going to multiply 10 I am going to multiply 10 so for that purpose I am giving move dx comma 16 16 is the decimal value uh, hexadecimal equivalent of 16 is 10 so that's why I have given here 16 so now I am going to multiply 10 with the 2 so for that I am giving a command mul space dx then I already told you in bx value is 0 and in ax value is now after this multiplication the value stored in ax is 2 0 then add these two values 2 0 plus 0 we will get 2 0 only right so this is for 32 even if some other value if you use for any value if you use you will get the output decimal to hexadecimal conversion with this code you practice on your own so now I am going to save this so I will run this one and I will show the output to you so first you know the command masm space file name dot asm so no errors next link space file name dot obj then debug space file name dot exe press u click on enter so we will get the code along with the offset addresses click g equal to starting offset address space 0 0 so I will show you till here so till here I will show you more actually we need to give till 1 B first I will show you till 1 7 what is the output till this multiplication what is the output so till 1 7 you just check the value of AX is 2 I told you no 2 0 become 0 2 that is here and in dx what is the value stored 10 we given no 1 6 16 we gave no that 16 stored in hexadecimal form that is 10 now dx and uh, this ax we are going to multiply where we are performing that multiplication in this line only we are performing that multiplication right first we need to multiply this with this so I will show you in the next line so g equal to 0000, 0, 0, 0 space 0, 0, 0019 if you give see here this in ax what is the value stored now 20 and dx becomes 0 right clear so this is what the command you have to use g equal to double zero double zero space double zero where that interrupt is there where that interrupt 21 is there it is in 1b no till there you have to give 1b so you will get the answer so answer is decimal equivalent of 30 uh, sorry hexadecimal equivalent of 32 is 20 hexadecimal equivalent of 32 is 20 so you can check with some other uh, values also you will get the exact hexadecimal equivalent of given decimal number thank you thank you